y'all this is Rhonda and welcome back to my kitchen now I've told y'all I'm going to uh, start doing a little better this year and start doing some uh, keto dishes um, actually I've had requests for keto dishes so I'm gonna stick with that today and I'm gonna show y'all how I make just a quick simple uh, keto taco soup I don't know about y'all but we love any kind of a Mexican dish and um, so when we're craving that this soup really hits the spot for us um, now I'm gonna tell you with car with the keto diet obviously um, you're not counting calories as such, so um, you have to get a certain amount of fats in. If you don't know anything about this keto diet, uh, you have to kind of watch your macros. And um, so you're looking at your carbs, your protein, and your fat. And um, we uh, struggled at first because it was just so hard to comprehend <laughs> that you really need these fats in your diet yet how am i gonna lose weight if i'm you know over there uh eating you know a cup of lard <laughs> we didn't do that but uh anyway um so you know we started off doing our little low carb and um i love like cream cheese and sour cream and mayonnaise I didn't have a bit of problem with it in fact it did not feel like a diet to me it uh, felt like I was uh, just cheating but um, for Russell he really struggled getting his fats in because at the time he didn't really care for cream cheese um, he still does not like sour cream or mayonnaise so um, these kind of recipes are really good for him to get his fats in because although he does not eat you know he's not will sit down and you know have a snack of cream cheese he will eat it in things and um, so this recipe um, you know is good for like I said when, when you're craving Mexican food or whatever the things you know you can't have so I'm gonna start out with um, making my tacos uh, powder though because Carbs have a sneaky way of um, just showing up and stuff. And if you really start looking at your carbs, you're like, oh, dear Lord, sweet Jesus. You know, you're in the store reading labels, oh, gasping. I mean, it's bad. So <laughs> once you um, even even with the taco powder, um, I looked today. I knew I could make my own um, because I've done that. But um, even with the taco powder, it was like four or five carbs for like two tablespoons. And honey, if I'm gonna have them carbs, I, I, carbs, I would rather enjoy them in another uh, form or fashion. So um, I'm just gonna start off with the um, with the taco powder. Now, you can store this uh, taco powder in um, a little jar and uh, just have it on hand. Um, I'm just gonna do one little serving of it, but um, you know, you can fill the jar up so you've got it on hand. Now, uh, it calls for about a quarter um, a cup of chili powder. Make sure I got all this stuff on hand here. So a quarter cup of chili powder, and uh, I guess it don't matter which brand it is. Put a little bit more in there. Shorted myself just a hair. Um, then you're gonna go in with two tablespoons of cumin powder. One, two, what? I do some healthy size uh, spoonfuls there. That cumin smells so good. And uh, let's see my smoked paprika. I'm gonna do two tablespoons of that. It's too easy to just make your own stuff sometimes uh, then just depend on getting those little packets pre-packaged or whatever because uh, you really don't know what you're getting sometimes in some of those things. All right, let's see. We're going to do, um, uh, I'm going to do two tablespoons of garlic powder too. You can uh, cut that back to whatever you want to, but um, I do like the garlic flavor in mine. 
fact, I'm gonna put garlic um, cloves in this as well. So garlic is, I love garlic. Everybody does not like garlic. Everybody does not feel the same way. Don't have uh, cozy feelings about it. <laughs> But now this is going to be uh, two tablespoons of onion powder in there. And I'm just going to put uh, about, I do have some cayenne pepper. I'm not going to put a lot in there because, listen, I've told y'all before, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to, create a fire in my mouth. I'm just gonna put a teaspoon of that in there. Just one little teaspoon of that. And um, let's see, it calls for one other thing. Two tablespoons of oregano. This in here. All right, now I'm just gonna take this and just give it a good little shake up here. And this is gonna be my chili powder. Now, I'm gonna salt my meal, my um, meat. I might just go ahead and put a little bit of salt in here. But if you're watching your sodium, um, you can just do that. You know, you don't have to add this. But I'm gonna just put um, maybe a tablespoon of salt in there. And look at me trying to put the lid on salt, Lord. Right, I'm just gonna give this a little shake. And um, this legit is uh, taco seasoning. Trust me, I've used it enough. Now you wanna um, just use about three tablespoons per one pound of hamburger meat. And that comes out pretty good. So I've got that made and um, I've got some uh, pretty simple ingredients on this. Um, I'm going to uh, use some onion. I'm gonna scramble my hamburger meat with some onion. And um, you really do wanna watch your onion. I love, love, love onions. And um, I could very easily put this whole onion in here, but if you're watching your carbs and um, you'd rather have more soup uh, than all this onion, uh, it's best to cut it back a little bit. Now, one medium, medium onion, it may surprise you, it is about um, 11 or 12 carbs and uh, with fiber and everything and it averages out to about nine carbs I believe for that so we are going I've got a fairly um, small onion but I'm just going to half it and um, I'm not going to use all that onion because um, I can use some of that powder that onion powder that still has some pretty good uh, has some pretty good flavoring in it but um, I'm telling you yeah there there's carbs in everything. You really have to watch it. You'll think, oh, I'm just eating vegetables. I'm just doing this and that, and it's good for me. And you just don't see a difference in the scales. And these are the little, these are the little carbs that just sneak up on you. So I'm just gonna um, give this a quick little, quick little cut, and I'm gonna put it in my little chopper. And um, I've also got some garlic cloves. I'm just going to uh, mince them. Um, garlic cloves are pretty good. Um, you can do like the whole clove is less than one carb. So that's going to give you some really good flavor with um, low carb. So, uh, and that's what you're going for. You want stuff very flavorful and um, you figure out the spices and <laughs> what tastes good uh, versus just fillers that you're used to just throwing things in there. So I'm gonna give this a quick chop and um, I'm gonna show you how I put it together. But um, like I said, very simple, simple ingredients. We're gonna use some beef broth, some cream cheese, some um, of course the chili, the taco powder, and a hamburger, onion, and garlic, and also um, some Rotel with the chilies in it. Now, I did get the off-brand, and I'll tell you the off-brand had less carbs in it. Um, once again, you'd think, oh, tomatoes is great for me, uh, but they do have little carbs. They do have little hidden carbs in them. So this whole can, um, well, it's four grams, and you're supposed to subtract the dietary fiber, so it'd be three, three carbs per half cup, and there's two servings. 
So right here, this is uh, three carbs, and so and I'm using two cans, so that's going to be six carbs. But I'm going to keep counting them carbs for you, and I will put this. Um, Y'all know I always put the recipe in the description underneath the video. I always post my uh, recipe. I don't know if you know that or not, but I always do. And um, I also uh, add this uh, taco seasoning recipe, as well as how many many carbs um, this soup is but um, of course it's gonna go in a whole pot and um, of course the hamburger is zero carbs the everything else is zero carbs it's just those tomatoes and um, the onion so uh, you can get a pretty good size pot um, for you know very low carb and it's got those good fats in it that you need and um, anyway we're gonna start getting them whipped up and uh, show you how to do it all right I'm gonna start with putting my hamburger meat in here just kind of breaking it up Now this is one time that um, you want a good bit of meat. You don't have to skimp on that because it is zero carb. So uh, that's great. You don't have to worry about that. Um, it's a good filler. And um, for keto, the meat is better. It's better to, to uh, create a filler with meat versus some of the vegetables, to be honest. Um, Y'all know I always put a little moisture in my hamburger. I'm just going to go ahead and go in with just a little bit of beef broth uh, just to get it broke up here. And I'm going to start seasoning this as well uh, before I put that onion in there. I'm going to go ahead and add a little salt. Now, I didn't put much salt in that mix, so um, in my taco seasoning, so um, I did add some salt here, and I'm going to add, of course, some black pepper. Long. Well, I thought I was. There we go. It's a little poof of pepper, <laughs> pepper there. It wasn't a whole lot in there. Just going to give this a little stir. Now this is already starting to brown up. I'm going to add my onions in there because I want this to have a lot of flavor. Uh, let me get my onions here. Still got them in my chopper. Just going to go right in there with that. This is going to be enough to give them flavor but not too many carbs. So that'll be great. All right. Now I'm just gonna let this cook for just a few minutes. Um, I'll, you want this to get brown and crumbly um, before you put your cream cheese in there. This recipe, surprisingly enough, you don't even need uh, any cheddar cheese or whatever. It's gonna come out just super creamy and good and taste so cheesy with that, uh, with the cream cheese, you won't even miss it. But uh, of course you can always top it with some shredded cheese or whatever you want on top of this. Um, I like to put a little avocado beside mine. I love sour cream, uh, whereas Russ just eats his like it is. So um, actually this is already browning up pretty quick. So I'm gonna start uh, cutting that cream cheese in here. This don't take no time at all. Let me get my cream cheese here. And uh, you just want to put it in pieces, and I'm just going to use the same spoon because I'm using that anyway. I ain't trying to wash a lot of dishes. I'm not about that life. You just want to put it in pieces because you want it to completely melt in here. Now this hamburger meat did not have um, a lot of fat in it at all, so I didn't have to drain it. But if your hamburger meat has a lot of fat, I would uh, drain some of that fat off of it. Even though you're trying to get your fats in, um, you know, you got to use some common sense sometimes, I guess. I don't no, gravy no, you do not. You don't want to get your soup and there's, you know, an inch of grease floating on the top. You don't want that. Oh, I missed. <laughs> 
All right, I'm just gonna mash this with my spoon, just like this. Just gonna mash it in there while it's melting. Just mash the daylights out of it. Not the daylights. The daylights, yes. <laughs> You're gonna be eating this at night time now. Yes. Well, at least it ain't when you was little, your mama, mama said, I'm gonna smack the daylights out of you. I remember that, Sam. Uh, yeah. I've told mine that a time or two, really, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I'm sure they remember it, too. <laughs> I've never smacked the daylights out of them, but they weren't sure if I would or wouldn't. The fear. Of the fear. <laughs> <laughs> That's what gets them the fear. It's like, I don't trust her exactly. All right, this is looking really creamy now in here. All right, I'm going to, um, I was gonna drain some of this. Uh, I am gonna drain this just a little bit. We can use it, if it gets too thick, we can use it. I'm gonna go ahead in with my two cans of um, Rotel. That's one. It's already smelling really good in here. It really is. Now, I love some jalapenos, of course. This has chilies in it, so, um, I'm not going to add that to it. We don't need the heat, but um, some jalapenos does give it really good flavor as well. Now, I am going to add some, um, just some beef broth. About two cups of that. If I can get back into it, that is. Now, I pour my juice in here. Got to pour it back out. So I'm gonna put about two cups of beef broth, give it that good flavor in there. And then I'm gonna put about a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. And that's just gonna get it all happy in there. I know it's looking loosey goosey right now, but um, this heavy whipping cream is really gonna thicken it up. This is how it is supposed to be looking. Oh, I didn't put my chili, my um, taco powder in it. I've got to do that as well. I should have probably put that in whenever uh, I had the hamburger meat, but I didn't, so. So there's that. All right, let me get my spoon. Get this uh, stirred up. I want that sitting in there. My pepper went all up on the side there. All right, about three tablespoons of this taco powder. Of course, if um, if you want more honey in your kitchen, do do you do you? There we go. Now this is two tablespoons here, so I'm gonna do about another about another half. Here we go. Just gonna give that a good good little stir and literally this will be done shortly just a few minutes to uh to simmer and to thicken up just a little bit and um i told you you could add regular cheese and if for some reason your soup doesn't thicken up like you want it to then um you can certainly add some little cheese in there and thicken it up but i'm just going to let this simmer and um let this cook look at those seasons that spices in there just rolling around getting happy there you go i'm gonna give you a little tidbit too um this heavy whipping cream we go through a lot of it but um the land of lakes you can actually get the name brand at costco for it was it 399 russell 420. 429 and um you have you you can't get that in Walmart or anywhere for that price. Um, their name brand is now at like five eighty nine in our grocery store. So, if you're looking for a little cheaper and a better name brand, um, go to Costco for that. But anyway, that was just a little tidbit. I'm just gonna, um, y'all. I am about crazy today. I also forgot. I make her nervous. <laughs> he does. He really does. 
eyes. I don't know why. He's sitting here looking at me like, ah. Um, but I did not put my fresh garlic in, and I do want to put that in there. And I would have put that in there with the, um, with the uh, hamburger meat and the onions when it was cooking. But the fresh garlic really does make a difference, and it's going to uh, make it. I'm already smelling it. Oh, it just smells lovely. But anyway, I'll let you know. Okay, y'all, it is ready. Um, I let it simmer for maybe about six or seven more minutes. Um, it didn't look like it was going to thicken up, so I did put about a half a cup of just some shredded uh, Colby Jack cheese in it, but um, then it started thickening right up. But uh, you could uh, not put as much of the beef stock in it. It'll be fine. But um, And I think, too, the longer it sits, the thicker it will get as well. But um, I have got mine topped with some just a few snippets of a green onion and some sour cream. Russell's is, of course, uh, plain Jane. <laughs> but um, I did figure the carbs off for this whole pot, and it was 11 carbs for the whole entire pot, pot of um, taco soup. And you just about can't beat that, I'm telling you. Um, you couldn't get a sandwich hardly without that many carbs and you get the whole bowl of soup and um these are really good size bowls i would say probably you have about two and a half cups um a piece but anyway i should measure it to be exact but i would say two to three carbs per bowl of soup is about the most but anyway, Russell's gonna come in and taste it. Um, I tasted mine just a little bit. Come on, Russell. You know I've been running my mouth. <laughs> I taste it just to make sure I had enough salt, but that's as far as I got. Okay. So. Hey, hey y'all. Taco soup. Taco soup. It looks yummy. It you know, watching is. Watching it go at it, it's uh. Well, I don't do all the little fancy dancy stuff, but um. This one is a it's a winner. I ain't even got it. It smells I, we've had, we, so good. We've had this a good bit before. Yeah, we um, have. And, and uh, there's several variations. There's some where you put like um, uh, mixed vegetables in it and all this kind of stuff. But um, this is a uh, really good. It's if almost. You going low low carb? This this yeah. is about as low carb as you can yes. get for a, a pot of something. You know, um, other than just eating protein or mm -hmm. cheese or something like that. And um, this has got plenty of protein and it's got of flavor too. Yes. It's got a, a bunch of different flavors. Yep. Yeah. You got your fats in it with the cream cheese and the heavy whipping cream. Yeah. Your protein, but just not a lot of carbs. So, oh, yeah. all right. Hopefully we don't burn our face off. I hope not. It's, I'm going to give mine a little stir. Mine uh, is. It's very warm. Y'all, it's a smoking. He want me to taste it with him for some reason today. I was like, uh -huh. okay. Co-tasting co sometimes, you know, you get a, yours has got a little different. Mine's got sour cream. To it. Yeah, yeah exactly. mine's sour cream. You ready? I'm ready. One, two, three. Mmm. Huh. Mmm. Buddy, that's right on time. Mm, that's really good. For a uh, hearty yes. winter, winter time. Listen, you don't even feel like you're on a diet. That is not diet. No. That is definitely not diet. No, right this is good. Um, this feels like a good game day chili. Uh, it would, oh, it really, it would go. It's good. Sit down and watch some NFL playoffs or something and have a bowl of that. You ain't, you it don't is. know you want no diet eating that, I'm no, telling you. No, no, uh, no, that is really good. And you can also substitute chicken. Yeah, I've done this chicken, with chicken, chicken as well. As well, we've had that. It, yeah. it is, it is good, no, y'all. Yeah, we might have to do that. <laughs> um, Some chicken, uh, yeah, it's, taco soup. It, it is. is. It's a different flavor. The chicken gives it a little different flavor. It does, than it but it's good. Mm -hmm. it's very good. It's good. It's I'm good. Gonna, I'm gonna tear this bowl up here shortly. I'm just standing here, stirring and looking at it, stirring and looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now, we got to go. We got something to do. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, anyway. <laughs> I, I hope that you will give this a try and that you'll enjoy it like we have. Um, like we have said, we're still trying to ease into this. Um, so we're starting off slow. You may still see a, another video here and yeah, there. The bottom line is, <sighs> this is not a weight loss channel. This no. is Robin's Country Kitchen. No, and, and I'm no and expert. Really, you know, uh, we know people at the beginning of the year try to do better and be, eat yeah. healthier, us included, and that's yes. what we're trying to do. So we want to bring that along with we you. We are. So, you know. Yeah. Yep. 
put a little um, southern flair on this exactly. uh, keto. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, to be truthful, she's very averse in, in this because we've, we've done keto several times. We have. And um, back before all these popular bakeries and stuff like that started mm -hmm. to pop up where people actually made, you know, way before that. Um, anyway, I think she has a lot to bring as far as uh, low carb stuff goes. So, yeah. Well, we'll see. Yeah. But anyway. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. And thank y'all to all my new people. I've yeah. had a ton of new people. I'm just um, just amazed. We've hit over 3,000. That's awesome. And yeah, um, yeah. it's just a growing. So um, I'm just amazed that um, that we've hit that number. I didn't think we'd ever get to 100. I'm like, Lord, ain't nobody going to watch this. So 3,000 really just blew my socks off, I'm telling you. But thank um, each and every one of you. Yes, I do. Every one of y'all that has contributed. I and if really you're not subscribed and you enjoy uh, country cooking and a little bit of this cooking, and that, you know, um, go ahead and hit that button. It don't yes. cost you no, nothing, nothing to subscribe and turn that bell on and you'll get a notification when videos come out. Yep. If it's not something for you, just uh, just uh, turn the volume down. Watch anyway. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. uh, anyway, we thank you so much, y'all. Yes. Until next time.